This class you have two problems. First problem is the star point of uh, 3 kb, 3 mea, 3 phase synchronous generator is solidly grounded. Z1 is equal to 2.4 ohms, Z2 is equal to 0 0.45 ohms and Z3 is equal to 0 0.3 ohms. The generator operating unloader sustains a resistive fault between the face and the ground. ZF is equal to 1.2 ohms. The question is calculate the fault current and the voltage to ground of the R phase. We know that for a single line to ground fault, fault current IF is equal to 3 into ER divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus Z0 plus 3 into ZF. Here ZF is equal to 1.2 ohms. ER is equal to 3000 divided by root 3 that is equal to 1732 volts. Fault current IF is equal to 3 into 1732 divided by J2.4 plus J.45 plus J.3 plus 3 into 1.2 that is equal to 5196 divided by R plus JX 3.6 plus J 3.15 so which is in rectangular form you convert into polar form that is 4.78 angle 41.19 degrees therefore 5196 divided by 4.78 angle 41.19 degrees that is equal to 1087 angle minus 41.19 degrees that is the fault current next we have to calculate voltage to ground of the R phase VI is equal to IF into ZF IF is equal to 1087 angle minus 41.19 degrees into 1.2 that is equal to 1304.4 angle minus 41.19 degrees fault current is 1087 angle minus 41.19 degrees VI is 1304.4 angle minus 41.19 degrees the second problem is a 3 phase 30 MEA 33 kV alternator having X1 is equal to 0.18 per unit X2 is equal to 0.12 per unit and X0 is equal to 0.1 per unit based on its rating is connected to overhead line having x1 is equal to 6.3 ohms x2 is equal to 6.3 ohms and x0 is equal to 12.5 ohms per phase a single line to ground fault occurs on the remote end of the line the question is calculate the fault current neutral is solidly grounded first step you have to calculate the base current base current is equal to 30 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 into 33 base current is 524.86 amps base impedance is equal to kv base square divided by mea base 33 square divided by 30 that is equal to 36.3 ohms the next step we have to calculate the total positive seconds negative seconds zero seconds reactance x1 is equal to generate reactance that is 0 0.18 plus actual by base actual is 6.3 divided by base is 36.3 x1 is equal to 0.35 per unit similarly x2 is equal to 0.29 per unit x0 is equal to 0.44 per unit here all are in per unit this value the line reactance values are in ohms we convert into per unit value that is the actual by base since er is equal to 1 angle 0 Fault current IF is equal to 3 into ER divided by X1 plus X2 plus X0 3 into 1 angle 0 divided by J 0.35 plus J 0.29 plus J 0.44 Fault current is minus J 2.78 per unit That is a per unit fault current Actual fault current IF is equal to Base current 524.86 into 2.78 that is equal to 1459.11 amps. Here the fault actual fault current is 1459.11 amps. Per unit fault current is minus J 2.78 per unit. This way we have to work on this problem. Thanks for listening.